All right, quick summary. I will approach the narrow angle, I will stop, I will orient, check, check to the back, I will listen to the environment. Do I want to clear this room? Yes, I want to. I will start working with the apex of the threshold. My feet, gun and eyes are synchronized with the threshold. I will snap the 90 degrees. I will continue to slice, continue to slice. I will attack the corner as soon as I decide that it's enough for me. And as soon as I will attack the corner, I will give a quick check to the back to make sure that everything is fine. Or in this case, I have to deal with the door and so on and so on. For us, again, this will not be 100% realistic because we're trying to replicate a realistic situation. Um, so what will happen is the following, you will be facing that direction, you are that direction, I am here, I have no idea where my friend is at. At some point, something is going to happen and we'll have to adjust my position to them. Okay? Guys, you are clear to go, you can say your letter, just five seconds delay from each other. We will do a quick demonstration, after that you will practice. Okay? As soon as you are on threat, pam, 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 whatever you can say. Okay? Three, two, one, and let's start. Charlie. Bravo. Okay guys, so basically we talked about the angles, different room shapes, we talked about how we can manipulate those angles into our advantage, right? We focus primarily on clearing those rooms with open doors. So what we're going to do now is we will focus on clearing these rooms with closed doors. Does it affect the angles or it remains the same angles in definitions? Stays, 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 stays the same. It stays the same. Everything system stays the same. The footwork stays the same, but you will see. Okay? Before I will start, I just want to go with you through definitions. Some of them will be familiar to you, some not. But it's really important because terminology is everything. Good. Well, don't forget when you're interacting with a door, weapon up and not down. Okay, you can get locked. Okay? Good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Very good, you see, so, so he actually bailed back to the narrow, he saw that the door came back like an anomaly and he went into the narrow, it's very good, that's perfect, because then he was able to foresee if there is any problem coming, whatever, yeah, very good. So for a friction of a moment, what happened here is as soon as they were coming through that corner, that gun in his body triggered that, that angle over there. That means if someone is standing over here, he has the time to, ah, uh, gun, and huh, I need to do something here. Even if I will try to shoot him and he will be super fast and he will go through, the next guy, the third guy, whatever, they will get shot. Why? Because it triggered this angle. Another issue which, which will be really interesting, that is that if he will, will see me, what will be his natural reaction? Turning around. But he's also coming around the corner, right? So we have inefficiency because no one is covering up ahead. Plus there is a high chance with pistols or MP7s that, you, uh, that we will have here a friendly fire. Okay? So let's see how we can do it more efficient. But in the same time, how we can also to tailor it a little bit into human behavior. Make sense? Good. Okay, so stop. As soon as you recognize from here that the 45 is coming, you compress the gun. As soon as you see that he compresses it, you see the problem, it's yours. You will take a step forward slightly, just in front of him a little bit. Exactly. Body contact and let's move. Exactly. Yeah, body contact. Good. And moving. Exactly, you recognize the problem, compress the weapon down, compress it down, exactly. Try to get rid of the bad habit of twisting it and just line it down. Exactly. Be aware about the angles, yeah, slowly, slowly. Okay, 45, weapon down, compress it, 
Let him take the lead. You will be slightly forward. Elbow like this, perfect. And let's go. Yeah, exactly. You are with him. Yeah, very good. Clean angle, clean angle. Let's go. So I will approach it in our angle. I will stop just like we always learn. By the way, I'm on my weaker side, right? So if you, if you have time and you have a local surprise, here is the time to do a shoulder transition. Make sense? Only if you have the time. If you expect any person to come out, well, you should not do it. Make sense? Okay, from here, I'm starting to slice. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I'm slicing. All good. And, oh, shit, I see a wall. Where is the responsibility shift to? To this area, right? Okay, so from here, I will shift, slice it if needed. I will attack it, look over the shoulder, and then I can start working on the next problem and so on and so on. Right? Yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. One. Police, turn around, turn around! Stop. Get on the ground, get on the ground! Come to me! Let's go through it really quick, explain like what just happened. Uh, he was uh, facing the wall and I told him to turn around and he turned around and he grabbed to the hip, made the movement like this and okay. then I take the first shot. Okay, did you saw a gun? No. Alright, identification. We can argue this a lot, identification is identification. He could have took his, his belt because his pants were about to fall down whatsoever, okay? In the end of the day, if you would shoot someone and he doesn't have a gun, it's problematic, right? Yeah. Okay. Take the your ground. time, take Tommy your time. In. Tommy in. Okay, what are you looking for right now? You see the threat, what are you looking for? On the left side of the gun. All right, what is the priority, the corner or this guy right now? Now the corner. Now? now? See, in the moment I see the gun, it's away from him and he's not moving. I exactly, so you will try to get the corner, but in the same time, try to keep some kind of peripheral uh, uh, con connection with the body. Yeah. All right, so let's continue. Okay, corner and bump the body, very good. Yeah. 